don't forget to look for the £20 note when you eat them. One girl told me she knew someone in Atten got a 50. Debbie, I'm sorry I sent you to bed early last night. I had a bit of a migraine. It's all right. Better be some talent there. Oh, no. Ali's only invited girls. No, there'll be loads of talent. Hey, what music have you got? You having a party? Yeah, just the small one. Well, can I come? Uh, might be a bit grown up with the do's and stuff. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> well, can I handle that? I've been to loads of parties like that. I'm sorry, Debbie. It does sound a bit adult. And you have got school tomorrow. So have they. No, Debbie, really, you can't go. Yeah, well, so much for being sorry for last night, eh? Excuse me. <laughs> this is a covered deposit for your materials. Thanks. Sign here to say you've received it. I've got my own pen, thanks. <clears throat> and we'll need receipts for whatever you buy. You yeah, don't worry. I'll bring it all in on time. I won't, I won't go over budget. Even so, committee requires receipts. Now, uh, you know the advance, like, you know, two thirds up front. Like we agreed. Don't worry, I've got that. It'll only take three days to clear. So then she said, Olivia, you know I won't be able to get through that masterpiece today. So I just had to come home. Which is good because it means I'll be able to help you with the compilation tonight. Oh, is that Elaine? She said she'd let us know which ones they've got. No, it's, um, it's Rodney. He's on about some stuff that's coming. You liar. I've just seen Rodney drive off. Yeah, well, he might have forgot something. Danny? All right, truth. It's from my girlfriend, you know, the one that looks like a supermodel. Oh, <laughs> you don't tell me who it is. I'm going to phone him right back. <laughs> Steph. <laughs> Steph? Well, yeah, you know, she locked herself in ever since Nicola broke a china collection. Mm -hmm. Well, they're trying to get her to come back out. By not feeding her. Blimey, she'll fade away, that one. Yeah, but they think she's having a big sport tantrum. Well, she is, isn't she? Yeah, but I feel dead sorry for her. She's a proper gutted. So is she going to come out? No. I'm smuggling in food for her. Food? Well, bits and pieces. Fig rolls, mainly. Edna! You can't go to the party with me. I don't want to go to the party with you. So they're going to ask if you see my mum? Uh... Oh, no. Well, there you are. <laughs> I looked in the office first. Oh, something important, was it? Yeah, they're all going to the party tonight with the new people. Oh, the Marsden. Oh, the mum and dad are out, but it's all the kids from the village. Don't you think you should be able to go? Well, it is local. Close enough to Emily's. What does she say? I knew it. I knew you'd say yeah. She said no, aren't she? She's so strict. She made me go to bed the minute you have gone last night. Debbie, she's just a little bit old-fashioned. A little bit. I still think you should do as she says anyway. Yeah. Maybe. Thank you. Edna. I gave Mac the knife his money this morning. I would rather you didn't call him that. Funny how your man put it most competitive quote. I mean, sure he didn't bribe you for some inside information. Bribe me? How dare you suggest that, Jarvis Skelton? As if I... As if I would accept a bribe. You keep your eyes open. Foolishly. Foolishly, I was about to ask you if you'd like to join me for a drink. But after that, I think I'd rather drink on my own. Edna, it were only a joke.
Well, no one knows about, have you? It's a public right away, isn't it? You'll come the brood of your failures, then. Ah, too many successes to do that. Anyway, whose failure is it, really? Not me, mate. You never learned, do you? You're onto a loser here, mate. I mean, this is what you used to do with us all the time. You end up undercutting and undercutting, and end up stuffed trying to make any profit. That's not what you said then. Didn't I? <laughs> Maybe you just didn't listen. Of course, you were glad of a job then, weren't you? Grateful, even. Young lad, no qualifications. Chance of learning a trade. Soft boss treating you like his own son. Now, you know it all, don't you? No. Yes, you do. Well, you think you do. You think what you're about to see is your old boss taking a fall. You've come to glow, haven't you? No, I haven't. I, I don't want to glow. Now, whether you do or whether you don't, you're not going to get the opportunity. Because hey? in the end, you're wrong. I'm not going to take a fall. I'm going to end on top. So get lost. We used to be mates, us. Yeah, well, not anymore. There is no us now. So no, I'm not going to be getting off with anyone in here, am I? Oh, I don't know. I'm always available. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Oh, don't worry, my mates will be here soon. Although, I don't think the Don is type. Don't worry. It'll be more than just Elaine's weirdo mates. Yeah, Danny left a message with some of his mates. I did not. So did we. Oh, <gasps> that'll be my lot now. Oh, let's have a look then. Yeah. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <coughs> yeah. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Debbie. Did you steal that? No. Did Emma say you could come? Yeah, I made her. Well, it can't get any worse. Can't it? Just chill, all right? The pie's on its way. About 8.30. Hiya! 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 Right, your food should be about five minutes. I'll be smart on love, thanks. Shall we sit down? <clears throat> hey, first coach load will be arriving now. <laughs> Stop it! Nah, there are only two coaches heading that way when we arrive. Well, they're the ones with the police escort. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Anyway, you're wasting your breath. I'm having a night off and I refuse to be worried. Well, it's only our new house, anyway. Well, Elaine's pretty responsible, I would think. I know. It's Ali, really. Thought you weren't going to worry. Well, you know... Oh, partying's not that strenuous an activity. Oh, depends on how you party. Franny, he'll be all right. Oh. Focus your mind instead on what our next mad fundraising scheme's going to be for the cardio people. Oh, hey, I had an idea. What's that? Five-a-side football. We haven't done that. Yeah, nice one, Shiv. Oh, thanks, Louise. Thanks. Hey, that's a good idea, though. We could play twice. Once to raise money for cardiomyopathy and once to pay for the carpets to be cleaned. <laughs> 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 well, this isn't boring, is it? Sure, up, Elena. Where's Elaine gone? She's in the kitchen talking to her mates. That's all right. I like babysitting. But no money. Thought I hit the door. Hey, you don't look young. You look great. Colder than me, anyway. This lad once said a couple. Yeah, but he was full. People! Things are definitely looking up. <laughs> but you don't know any from them, do you? Right through there. Hiya. Said about 8.30, didn't I? Where would all these people come from? <laughs> Whoa, who are you? Yeah. Uh, well, Jay, you can't come in. I don't know you. I don't know any of you. All right, Elaine, they're with me. Come on through. Right, balls in the kitchen and you can put your coats in there. Hey, no wonder that's all you. Is this a party or is this a party? It's definitely a party. Oh. So do you know all these? Yeah, I'm all of them. Specs. <laughs> Especially the girls. <laughs> Ali! <laughs> right, there we are, Betty. Thanks, darling. Okay. Usual, love. Oh, uh, are you joining us? I might. Though, madam, fair bit me head off lunch, darling. Oh, I thought you two had a... What's it cordial? <laughs> You know, what them countries have. 
Oh, 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 an entente cordiale. Oh. Aye, well, well, I thought we had two. Della made a joke about her friend Mike getting village all tender. Oh, she hasn't got much of a sense of humour, hasn't Edna? <laughs> Unlike myself. <laughs> I have a very highly developed sense of humour. <laughs> I wonder if you did try to put her under pressure. Well, me, might have done. He wanted the job, but... I mean, she probably wanted him to stay on. It's the company, you see. Well, I don't trust him. No, well, do us a favour, will you? Don't keep bringing the subject up. It's very hard being a neutral state. She's been so quiet. Straight up to her room and not a peep out of her all evening. I thought there'd be trouble. She'll be sulking. Maybe. Oh, I felt so mean. All the others were going. But then they are a lot older. Emily, you did the right thing. Although it is very quiet. She couldn't have come back down again, could she? <laughs> Some more bills, Donna. Get lost. Oi, ah. leave her alone. Who are all these people? Oh, too much for the freaks, is it? If you meet my friends yet, yeah, some of them have gone. She's not there. I knew it. I thought it would when she didn't come down. Oh, phone Charity see if she's there. No, no, it'll be that party. That's where she'll have gone. Well, shall I phone Charity just to make sure? No, don't drag her into it. Not if we don't need to. Phone the Marsdens. So you'll put us out together? Yeah, sounds like a good cause. Oh, it is. Be good publicity for the pub, too. If you know any uh, local press. Yeah, I know a few. But they know you. Any dates in mind, yet? Yeah? Well, I could call round if you like. Fix one that suits us both. Yeah, that'd be fine. I hope you'll play yourself. Well, I like football. Take that as a yes, then. You've got about an hour later, this will be the time of your life. Yeah, this will do. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, smile. We, tr we tried to phone, but we couldn't get an answer. Well, I can't hear anything. Is Debbie here? Oh, yeah, didn't you know? Where is she? Oh, she was with a lad. Yeah, I saw her leaving about 20 minutes ago. What sort of lad? Um, oh, he was about 18. I thought you knew she was here. I'll a charity. I'll ask around and see if anyone knows him. If she's not at charities, call the police. Police? You don't need to call the police yet. Debbie's gone missing. What? I'm gonna go and look for her. She went to some party at the Marsden. You know them new kids, and now she's disappeared with some bloke no one knows anything about. Well, have they called the police? No, they're gonna give it half an hour yet. But you want me to come with you? No, no, you stay put. She might turn up here, mightn't she? Thank you. 
I pity their parents when they come home. <laughs> I pity Alice when they're late. Come on. I don't want to. So well, you've done it before, haven't you? Yeah, I just don't want to. Well, don't be so bold. Yeah. Come on. Leave her alone. What? It's worse for people like you. She's 13. 13? She told me she was 16. Oh, and you believed her, did you? Just get lost. Else, I might have to perform a little operation. And I don't use anaesthetic. You needn't bother. We're all right. Edna? For you. What's this? Bath salts. The old fashioned kind, lavender. My mum always used to love them. But for saying thank you. For the job? Well, thank you very much, Matt, but I can't possibly accept these. Not possibly. You'll have to give them to somebody else. Well, like who? Well, we give them to a charity shop. Oh, they're just bath salts, Edna. It doesn't matter. It is not appropriate. Because I did nothing. So suddenly he jumps up. It's under his bum the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it could be the adults having a party. Why? What was going on? Nothing. Just a level of noise. All the way up the street. Good night. Time to go, I think. A big one. Make sure we have a good night. What are you doing? Mm, no one's touched his cheese skirt. Is it for Sarah? No, I'm going to take it round now before it melts. No, I'll come. You're drunk. Am I? It'll be even more fun than morning. We've had a complaint about the noise. What noise? You the new tenant. Afraid so. This is my kid's idea of an housewarming. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. I'll go in and see if he's all right. I didn't know the new of so many people. Elaine should have known better. Steph! Steph! I've got a cheesecake! Danny! Danny! Tell her it's fig roll flavour! It's fig roll flavour! <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, um, what are we doing, Danny? Me? I'm cleaning windows. He's cleaning the windows and I'm... <laughs> what am I doing? You're helping. And I'm helping. You're feeding Sarah Bernard, that's what you're doing. I want about a fiver for this cheesecake. A, a fiver? Well, is that too much? I'm only going to charge you, Tenner, for doing windows. <laughs> And if I ever catch you trying to feed her again, there'll be trouble. But you can't starve her. It's a human right to be fed. And I'm just protecting her human rights. But I'll tell my dad and you'll lose your job. All right, then I won't feed her. That's the daftest dressing gown I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, where else can we look? Phone. No. Well, I can't find her anywhere. I've, I've rung Lisa, I've checked the pub, I've been up and down the main oh, street. It's time to call the police. Do we know anything about this bloke? He's got dark hair and he's, he's full of himself, Holly said. This is all my fault. Are you looking for someone? Oh. I found in there mine. Some kid were giving her grief. Debbie. Hey, don't worry. She won't be seeing him again. Thanks, Kane. I don't want your thanks. Just keep a better eye on her next time, eh? OK. Come in, love. Hey! 
there's nothing wrong with him anyway. Is this the son in question? It is. I'll have a word with you later. Right, I'll have this house cleared in one minute. And the parked cars, sir. Everybody in this house, drop now! What's all the fuss about? Mum? I feel faint. I think we'll leave it with you, Mrs Marston. You've got some neck. Have you seen what it's like down there? I think I better go. That's right, love. Good idea. Get out while you can. Unless you like the sight of the world. You take your puppet with you. Go on, move now. Go on. to go into that now, Emily. Oh, it's okay for you to say that, isn't it? Cos you're not the one who's in charge of her. We're the ones who are responsible for Debbie here. I certainly don't think arguing about it's going to do her any good, do you? There is no argument about that. Well, can we just try and keep calm, please? Yeah, no, I'll get going. No, please don't go. Or take me with you. Debbie, you've got to stay here with Paddy and Emily. I have to go home to Chris. Look, Emily don't mean to be cross. She just really cares about you. Now, look, I'll phone you tomorrow and check you're all right. Don't touch me. 